This is your boy E to the D, and um, it is almost seven in the morning on Tuesday, and I'm having a yard sale this Saturday with my cousin Tim. We're going to have it at his house, but I'm in charge of the marketing aspect of this old thing, so I figured I might as well show you guys how how I market. You know what I mean? This is the way you can do it yourself because every area is different. And since I live in Baltimore, I can do it, you know, different ways than somebody who may live out in a more rural area. But uh, if you live, you know, close to a populated area, then you can follow the way that I do it, and hopefully you can get more sales. So, um, first place I'm going to start is here. I have these. Let me show you what these are. I use these for myself personally. See that? They're like little postcards. They have the money on this side and then a little money symbol right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to print up a few of these. You can go online. Well, you need a printer, of course, but you can go online and you can get free templates. Templates that say like yard sale and the date and the time and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to do like 10 of these and then um, I'm going to put them around at the grocery stores in my area because all the grocery stores have a little place like a pin board you can put stuff up and you can advertise. So that's my first step. I'm going to do these and then I'm going to do maybe like 10 or 15 flyers. So I'm going to show you guys that part of it and then move to step two. So stand by. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, all I did here was um, I went to the notepad when you go down here to the start menu. Just click on that and I believe that's on Windows but I just went to the notepad and um, I tried a few different ones out and this is the one I'm going with here it says untitled at the top here but I'm just going to cut that part off and um, that's what I'll post up at the uh, grocery store and all that so all you got to do is control and P to print them out and I'm going to print out about 10 probably 10 will be enough and then uh, I'll go to phase two and I'll show y'all. Alright, peace. Alright my peeps, we are on to phase two now. Uh, we are going here to Craigslist. On the landing page underneath for sale you will see a section called garage sale. So you just click on that and go up to the top right corner where it says post. Boom. Click post. And go ahead and fill everything out that you want to fill out after I'm done I'll show you what everything looks like alright everyone we are done with that I actually did it in more than one section which is a good idea I did it in yard sales I'm sorry garage sales there's a section called garage sales I did it in that one I did it in the section called general and then I did it in another section I just chose any section the section I chose was uh, antiques but I try to do three sections because just in case if people don't check that certain section it'll be in another one so as you can see I did yard sale the date I did everything in the title so if somebody's scrolling down through the page and they don't click on it they can just basically get all the information just from the title and then the maps there and nothing extravagant it says multi-family yard sale free Gatorades or sodas for everyone I always have something free because it draws people in plus you have the uh, deal with reciprocity people feel like they owe you something if you don't know about that look it up on YouTube Brian Tracy talks a lot about it but uh, it really works and you can pay five ten bucks for a, a, a cooler for Gatorades and it'll increase your sales I'm telling you so um see I don't have anything extravagant just uh, free Gatorade sodas for everyone we will have a variety of things for sale including video games books blu-rays DVDs board games clothing shoes and more starts at 7 a.m. ends whenever and that's all I have and that's pretty much it 
I have one more step to show you guys, so be right back. What's going on, my peeps? This is your boy E to the F D, and um, I'm just gonna finish off what I started with uh, telling you guys about how I do my uh, yard sales and stuff. Um, I didn't even really have to record that beginning part. I could have just told you. <laughs> So I don't even know if I'm going to add that. So if you didn't see anything before this part, that means I didn't add it. Because <laughs> I don't really need to. But um, just how I do it, um, we're having a yard sale Saturday. Now you just try to try to market for, there's three kinds of people when it comes to yard sales. There's people that look in the newspaper, like the, the traditional way. There's people that go online. And then there's people that do both. All right, and then there's some that do all of them. So uh, I wanted to show you. This is like I've already put up uh, one, two. I've only put up three of these. I had this one to put up at my gas station, but um, it says the yard sale, it says the time, the address, and then just put that little thing where they could tear it off. That way they can have the address in their wallet or their purse or something like that, and they can you know refer back to it. I had two, four, six, eight. I had ten of them. So about ten per per sheet. You can print these right up on your um on your printer. I just use the uh, notepad. I print it right up, and then uh, I cut them down to size, and that's how I do that. I've already went to Craigslist. I've got uh, three different categories there for uh, listed for the yard sale, and also my local paper. We have around here. I live in a town called Dundalk in Baltimore, and we have a paper called the Dundalk Eagle. So. That paper comes out every Thursday, so my paper with my um, advertisement for the yard sale will be out this, it'll be this Wednesday at midnight is when it comes out. But that way you're hitting every little angle, you know what I mean? And then last but not least, like the big sign. They sell the cardboard, like the real big, like this and like this, and you just write yard sale with the address. I usually do four of them big signs within a block of each other. So like one here, then a block, one here, then a block, and kind of like in a circle or, or, or kind of going around each other you know what I mean so you're hitting traffic from every angle and that's how I do mine now if you don't live in a high a more populated area that might not work for you so just test out different things and see what works best but um that's what works for me so I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, this thing about a month ago it probably hasn't even been a month maybe two or three weeks I bought this thing for 13 bucks from Walmart definitely worth every penny so if you saw that video and you were thinking about buying these rechargeable batteries and you find this I got all four batteries and the charger for under 14 bucks from Walmart and uh, worth every penny it's already paid for itself because I've already recharged them twice so definitely worth it y'all definitely definitely worth it oh yeah I also wrote down that I wanted to tell you guys that I put one of these at there's a gas station right here by my house I asked them if I could hang one up like right on the door as people walk out that way they can grab one and they were like yeah and then usually your local grocery store has like the little pin board where people put their business cards and stuff like that put one of them up you know right there on the way out always the way out always get them on the way out and also notice on the bottom I have free Gatorade or sodas for everyone now that goes along with the reciprocity like uh, Brian Tracy talks about it all the time. You do something for them, they'll do something for you. So we're going to have a cooler sitting out. We're going to spend like 10 bucks on a case of Gatorades and sodas or whatever it's going to be. We're going to have it on ice. It's probably going to be hot. And everybody that comes up will be like, hey, you guys want a soda? And here, you can have one. And then they're going to feel like they owe you something. So they're going to feel like, man, i got to buy something from them. Even, it's most likely going to be subconsciously. They're going to be like, man, I owe this dude something. I owe this dude something. Some people will be like, fuck that dude, I got a free soda. But, hey, it's worth a shot. But I'm just telling you guys what I do, and this is going to be me and my cousin Tim doing this. So we're going to be tag teaming them from either side, trying to hit them with all the little sales techniques we've picked up over the past year, year and a half. But um, also, on Thursday, this is this past Thursday, I was watching a webinar on marketing, and... It was kind of a rant slash video. Well, it was a rant video about uh, what I thought about the video and stuff like that. I'm going to throw that at the end of this video because I went through all that stuff. I edited the video and everything, but I never made it uh, public. 
I left it on private all that time. I'm wondering why. I'm like, damn, that thing still ain't got no views. And then I looked, and it still had the lock on it. So I hadn't even made it public yet. So I'm just going to add that to the end of this. So keep in mind that that video is from last Thursday. It was another night I was up till freaking 2 o'clock in the morning dealing with resale shit. But um, that's it, guys. That's all I have for today. And um, oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. A lot of you guys may know about this. A lot of you guys may not know about this. If you come across these at yard sales, thrift stores, whatever, these ones here, I mean, all of them sell, but these ones here, look them up on eBay. This is the same as the 600, too. It'll fit the uh, Polaroid 600. But these are going for like 25, 35 bucks a piece for 10 pictures. So if you find these, man, you have to pick them up. Like, it, I find them a lot in estate sales. Like, people had them, like, in a box in their closet or something like that. And if you could pick up 10 or 15 of these, oh my goodness, you could sell for 20, 30 bucks a piece. I mean, it's all day long. Check out the completed listings, y'all. I'm not lying. But uh, here, take a close up look at that. It's the, for the Polaroid, the instant cameras from the, uh, like the mid to late 80s. I think they were out in the 90s too. I don't know. But um, the 779, I believe they're pretty much exactly like the 600. So you can use them for that camera too. But um, that's all I got for you guys today. Enjoy the next part of this video, which I forgot to make public, and uh, I'll holler at you guys in the next one.
you know, five, six, and seven are the clothes, and I would have had five total items in my school. So I sat down today and I got it in, yo. Um, I mean, I just, I, I did the best I could. Like, my goal today was 50, and I got way over 50. I said I got, like, well, I think I got just over 50. But that was my goal. Once I hit my goal, I kind of just slowed it down a little bit. But, I mean, it's just, it's, it's not like I was neglecting eBay to bullshit and go to a bar or something like that. I was not paying attention to eBay so I could get the money. So, I mean, it, it was a fair trade for me. The shit was still selling anyway. So, I mean, it, it, it was awesome. And then today, I, I swear to God, in my daughter's life, um, I have one... I want to say three, but since I swear to God in my daughter's life, um, I know for sure two things sold since, since I uh, listed earlier. And I'm talking about things that I just listed today. So that goes to show you, man, pe people are on it. But um, the, uh, the video is going to be short, but the whole point of the video is just, like, man, we all make mistakes, everybody fucks up, and I especially fuck up. And I just wanted to kind of share that because a lot of people get all bent out of shape when they make mistakes or when other people make mistakes. Man, I don't get that out of shape. If, if you see that I made a mistake, please tell me. Show me the right way to do it. I mean, we all make mistakes, man. It's how we move after we make the mistake is what separates the successful people from the not successful people. Because if you make the mistake and then next week you do the same exact thing again, I mean, that's just foolish. It doesn't make sense. So from here on out, like for my Facebook, I'm, I mean, I, I must have did this 20 times wherever – I took the, like the Twitter, the Pinterest Twitter and Facebook thing and the eBay listing. I click it on every single time so I can help market it, you know what I mean? But all that's doing is just, it's like spamming people. And I never even thought about it like that. And I'm sitting there watching this webinar like, man, people that follow me on Twitter are probably pissed at me. Because all, it, it, the one thing I do do is where it says on Twitter, um, because if, I don't know if you know or not, but on Twitter, when you use Twitter to market, it says, look what I found on at eBay, and then it gives the link. So if, if you view 20 listings, it'll say, look what I found, look what I found, look what I found, 20 times. So what I always do is I erase the whole look what I found, and I just leave the at eBay part with the link. But um, even still, it's still going to say at eBay, at eBay, at eBay. So from here on out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it up a little bit. I'm going to try to be more engaging because I hate writing. I mean, I really do. I'm not good at blogging. I don't like doing it. But it's you got to change with the times, man. If, if I don't change with the times, I'm going to be dead in the water. So it's although I don't like to write, I do like to make money. So it's going to be a fair trade off. So, all right, guys. Um, it's 212 now. It's a pretty short video. But I just wanted to share with you guys how much I've been fucking up lately. <laughs> But um, I'm still making money, man, and it's just, you, you, you have to know what your weakness is all for one, and then try, just try to improve on it, that's all. And that's what I'm going to try to do over the next, uh, the course of the next month or two, I'm really going to try to engage everyone, and I'm definitely getting this uh, business Facebook page up next week. So I'll come on here, and I'll get, let you guys get first crack at that thing. I'll be like, all right, y'all, it's open, I sent y'all invitations or whatever, and then um, I'm getting my first 30 likes, and then I can... Uh, once you get your first 30 likes on the business page, it uh, allows you to see a little bit more about your potential customers, like if they're mail or email, or I'm not really sure, but they said it on the webinar. It's pretty interesting. But um, guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm not going to talk your ear off. Uh, love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.